Okay, you can download and print this file that has some Java memory models on it. And there's a link to that file in the comments. Once you've got it printed and printed double-sided, uh, you can cut it into the pieces along those dotted lines. Uh, the piece at the bottom has a bunch of different variables that we can use, and you can just cut all those apart. Okay, let's look at how we can use these. All right, check this out. Uh, I can flip the bottom up, and then I have a list where the head is null. So my head is null there. And you could imagine that that uh, would be relevant when the size is zero. So when the size of my list is zero, or my size, that instance variable is zero, my head would be null. What about a scenario where we have two list nodes? So we're trying to represent a list in Java, and maybe I have the data A and B. You might write in there just with a pencil so you can erase it, but I wanted you to be able to see it. Okay. So my head could point to my first list node that has the my data A, and my next could point to my second list node, which has the my data B. And then my next here doesn't have anything else to reference. So I can fold up the bottom so that my next is shown as null. And then for this list that I've got right here that has two list nodes in it, my size for that one would be two. And then when we're writing code for this, we can use that variable, like here is the variable current, and you can imagine walking the variable current down my list nodes. If you don't have a printer, that's no problem. You can take some scrap paper and make your own. So there I've got a list object and I can fold up the bottom so I get that same behavior. So here my head would be null. So there's where my head is not null, and then I can flip it up and have my head be null. And I can do the same thing uh, to simulate those lists and list notes.